महामहिम भारत राष्ट्रपति श्री रामनाथ कोविंद जी दि ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश श्रीमती आनंद भाई जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश योगी आदित्यनाथ जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर लॉ एंड जस्टिस श्री किरण रिजु जी माय ब्रदर्स जस्टिस विनीत सरन जस्टिस दिनेश महेश्वरी जस्टिस कृष्ण मुरारी जस्टिस विक्रम नाथ जस्टिस मुनीश्वर नाथ भंडारी एक्टिंग चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट माय डियर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर जजेस ऑफ अलाहाबाद एंड लखनऊ कोर्ट्स ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर लॉ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश श्री ब्रजेश पाठक मिस्टर अमरना अमरेंद्र नाथ सिंह प्रेसिडेंट एंड अदर ऑफिस बेरर्स ऑफ द मेंबर्स ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन ऑफ अलाहाबाद जुडिशियल ऑफिसर्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश स्टाफ ऑफ हाई कोर्ट ऑफ अलाहाबाद अदर डिस्टिंग्विश्ड गेस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन नमस्कार मुझे ये इस पवित्र नगर में आकर बहुत खुशी हुई यह के लोग अपने बड़े दिल के लिए जाने जाते हो अनफॉर्चुनेटली माई लर्निंग हिंदी इज नॉट कन्फाइंड टू ओनली ए ईयर इन द स्कूल प्लीज फॉर गिव मी नॉट गिविंग ए एलॉबरेट स्पीच इन हिंदी टूडे आई वॉज आई एम ओवर वेलम to be here in the city of kumbh a city with rich history in every corner a city known as the seat of knowledge wisdom and justice since time immemorial a city which gave impetus to the freedom movement with the historic anand bhavan as its epicenter a city in which mahatma gandhi declared the most peaceful war ever known to mankind against the british rulers a city which is home to legendary freedom fighters i am privileged to be in this holy land of triveni sangam the confluence of three holy rivers the occasion is befitting in the sense that we have assembled here to perform three auspicious deeds laying foundation for national law university the new multi level parking and advocate chamber complex and the unveiling of the portrait of legendary advocate sri anand bhushan seren the alabad high court has a history of more than 150 years the alabad bar and bench have produced some of the greatest legal humanists in the country in 1975 it was justice jagmohan lal sinha from alabad i court who passed the judgment that shook the nation when he disqualified simat indira gandhi it was a judgment of great courage which could be said to have directly resulted in the declaration of emergency and the consequences which i don't want to elaborate dr sachidananda sinha the first president of the constituent assembly pandit motilal nehru Sri Tej Bahadur Sapru, Pushottam Tandon were all members of the great Allahabad bar. In the famous Chori Choran case, the appeal was argued by Pandit Madan Mohan Malaviya before this high court. The bar has left, this bar has left an indelible mark in Indian freedom struggle and the drafting of our constitution. I expect you to carry forward the extraordinary legacy tradition and culture of this historic bar i urge all of you to the to take a lead in protecting the rights and liberties and freedoms of the citizens for me to be a part of this event at the allahabad high court is a special moment at the outset i would like to to give my heartiest congratulations to justice Munishwar Nath Bandari and Acting Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court and other judges of the High Court and the State Government for these momentous achievements. I would also like to congratulate the staff of High Court and the members of the bar and the public. This event touches upon topics that I hold extremely important: the importance of 
strengthening judicial infrastructure cannot be overstated. Sufficient judicial infrastructure can help improve access to justice by catering to the ever-rising number of cases and litigants and their changing needs. Courts in India still operates and work from dilapidated structures without proper facilities. Such a situation is severely detrimental to the experience of litigants and lawyers. It is an unpleasant work environment for court and staff and the judges, making it difficult to effectively perform their function. We neglected and failed to focus on providing good infrastructure for the courts in India after the British left. That is the reason why I am campaigning the National Judicial Infrastructure Corporation, which will develop concepts of the National Court Development Project and its implementation. The National Judicial Infrastructure Corporation shall be along the lines of the different infrastructure development statutory bodies that work towards certain national assets across the country. <coughs> One of the design principles that NJIC will follow is socially responsible and inclusive architecture. Today, the construction of the new multi-level parking and advocate chambers complex in Allahabad High Court is an important step in creating a barrier-free citizen-friendly atmosphere. I have been told that advocates in Allahabad were in great difficulty as they still do not have proper chambers. I am glad to find that the needs of women and differentially abled have been consciously considered. This is a welcome move for advocates and litigants. I hope that the new complex will re-energize the Allahabad bar. I do not want to point any finger or lay any blame regarding the pendency in the Allahabad High Courts relating to the criminal matters which is very worrying. I request Allahabad Bar and Bench to work together and cooperate to resolve this issue. The laying of foundation stone for the proposed National Law University in Allahabad is a significant step. As the Honorable President laid the foundation stone for the National Law University, I was reminded of the words of Mahatma Gandhi, I quote, what is really needed to make democracy functioning is not knowledge of facts, but right education." Unquote. I hope the addition of this university will serve the nation and its people well. The growth of our legal system goes hand in hand with the growth in legal education. It is necessary for the country to have quality legal education, which produces professionals who fulfill the legal needs of the ever-increasing population. Today, I have also had the honor of unveiling the portrait of one of the most celebrated lawyers from the Allahabad Bar, someone who is a role model to young lawyers and law students. See, late Anand Bhushan Seren, who was one of the best and most respected senior advocates from Allahabad. He was well known for his wit and intellect and for his ability to come up with a practical solutions on the spot. He never lost his compose in any situation. However, what his juniors and associates recollect about him was his extraordinary work ethic, his punctuality, and the amount of hard work he put into all his matters. Till his last days, he never wavered from his routine and was still working without ever making excuse of ill health. This earned him universally respect and admiration. Working closely with his son, Brother Justice Vinit Saran, I can state that my brother has imbibed some of his best qualities by watching his eminent father. Lastly, I would like to take a few minutes to place on record my gratitude to for the support of the Honorable President of India, who always gives priority to the legal community. As a former lawyer himself, he understand the troubles and the difficulties faced by those in the legal community and has always taken an active role in attempting to resolve any issues faced by us. 
It was his idea to translate the judgments of the Supreme Court to vernacular languages to increase access to justice, which has now been implemented. Whenever we meet, he always asks about the welfare of the legal fraternity and is always thinking of improving the legal aid system for the underprivileged. Since the time today morning, I met the Honorable President at the airport. Like a family elder, he has been showering with a lot of love and affection. I am indebted to him. Sir, actually, I, Honorable President of India, who requested and told me that we have to come to Allahabad and Lucknow, both places, during my tenure and meet with the members of the bar and visit the bench. I am thank you very much for the Honorable President of India inviting to his own state. I would also like to give my regards to Honorable Governor Srimati Anand Benji Patel, whose life story is truly inspiring. While she was a young teacher, she jumped into Narmada River to save two girls from drowning, and she got a gallantry award. We met her. She's, while traveling in the helicopter, she's asking me about the low canal system and how to improve and dispose of the particularly family-related issues. Her concern is very much uh, taken into consideration. I request the Honorable Acting Chief Justice to create more low canals regarding these issues. I also thank, take this opportunity to congratulate the Honorable Chief Minister of the State, Sri Yogi Ajit Janad, for his efforts, cooperation, and commitment to improve the infrastructure of the judiciary in Uttar Pradesh. I thank him. I am also happy to say that Sri Kiran Rajuji, the dynamic union law minister, I appreciate his outlook towards strengthening the judicial infrastructure to increase his access. Kiran Rajuji is a, uh, according to me, is a young man because he is like many of us, came from a rural background. While traveling, he mentioned about his background. I thought he came from, he studied some Oxford University or Stanford University. He said that he studied in a rural school and he saw first time electricity in his class eight and a car in his 10th class. He knows the difficulties and woes of the population, rural population, rural, rural masses. So he is encouraging us, he is supportive to us. I thank him on this occasion. Finally, let me again congratulate the Acting Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, other judges of the court, and the High Court staff, members of the bar, and the state government for taking these initiatives and inviting me, giving this opportunity to participate in this occasion. Thank you very much for giving the opportunity. Yeah.